Hello, you're watching Alexa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to do an update to my partners in cream. Uh, I'm late on my pan those eyeshadows. I'm actually going to film that right after this video. Dude, it's already March 10th. When did that happen? Look at this baby hair. I digress. Partners in Cream was created by Steph Lyons and Delin from Outward Processing here on YouTube. Go check them out. As always, they are linked down below and there's a hashtag that you can follow for anyone who is creating this type of content off YouTube. This month, if you couldn't tell by my frequent uploads, was not a very makeup-y month, but I do still have some progress and I'm really keeping on top of it. The first item that I have to talk about is the perfume by Marc Jacobs called Lola. And this I used a total of 13 times so I used it many more times in January and uh, <laughs> oh my gosh I can't do anything about this you know even when I gel it it just it it does its own thing and I can't leave my hair down because can I leave my hair down does this look better I haven't had a haircut at a salon in over two years and I I'm gonna book one I'm gonna book one okay I promise this perfume from Marc Jacobs by Marc Jacobs from Marc Jacobs by Marc Jacobs It has only gone down in weight by 5.3 grams. I know I'm going to finish it this year, so all is good. The next item I have is the Merit Foundation. This is their complexion stick. Per complexion perfecting stick. I'm a bit rusty. Can you tell? And this is in the shade Sand. I have a full review about it, as you already know. I mentioned it in my two previous videos. I've been enjoying it. I don't use a whole bunch. If you can see, I still have, you know, imperfections that show through my foundation, and I really don't mind. I just kind of use it for that sort of evening effect. Evening, not evening time. Yep. And that only went down 0.1 grams for nine uses. So safe to say, 0.1 grams for about more or less 10 uses. It's gonna take me forever to finish that. Lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude, the lip cheat. I love this so, so much. It's a brownie nude and I'm always wearing it on the edge of my looks. So this lip liner I used eight times only this month and it went down zero grams wow that's okay that's fine not even 0.1 it's fine i'll be okay tarte energy skin intuitive cheek tint and this i used 12 times sometimes i use this as a blusher which i am using as a blusher very sparingly today I will also use it on my lips over top the lip liner as I mentioned before. But the thing is, I can't use too much of this on the cheeks because if I do, it just looks... No, not my jam. Then we have the Benefit Professional, which I only use on my actual pores. I don't go and slather this on my whole face. What is up with these little samples that last forever? I add them into projects to try to make my life easier. It makes me think if this were a full size, full size item, it would be so difficult for me to get through what in the... <laughs> Especially with the frequency that I've been wearing makeup. This month was before March 1st. My usage was atrocious. It was actually so, so bad. Um, but uh, it's busy season at work, so I just, I wasn't doing anything. Even though I did go out for Valentine's Day, very, very, very much very single, very happily single, mind you, with my big, big straggly hair. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and um, hopefully my, well, I know for sure my panel's eyeshadows is a bit more exciting than my partners in cream but I'm really staying on top of this project because it helps me I'm convinced it helps me use up my cream products hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next one bye